Hey, what's up everyone? Voss Kadop, this is DJ Valoramas. In today's DJ tutorial, I wanna talk about the pad effects on the DJ 1000. So this is my favorite controller, and not just because it's only the second controller that I've ever owned, but because when I switch from Serato DJ to Rekordbox DJ, I never look back. And one of the very important features on the DJ 1000 are these pad effects. You have eight rubberized pads on the DDJ 1000, and Above the pads, you have various buttons for hot cue, pad effects, beat jump, and sampler. And what I like about these buttons is not only are they fun to touch, but they're also very easy to use and a lot of them are color coordinated. But in today's video, we are only going to discuss the pad effects. So we will take a closer look and I will show you some specific features of the pad effects and specifically how to adjust some of the settings to maybe make it more user friendly for you as a DJ. So let's take a closer look now. Okay, so in general, there are three types of effects on the DJ 1000. You have the beat effects, you have the sound color effects, and you have the release effects. Now, these effects are both in the mixing part of the DJ 1000 and also on the decks themselves. So on the mixing, on the, mix, the mixer section of the DJ 1000, you have the sound color effects right here. So if you're playing a track, you can activate the effects right here by these knobs. So you press one of the sound color effect buttons and then you rotate these knobs. The beat effects are located on this knob and then you can activate it here. And then release effects are through the record box software but you press the shift button and then you can press the release effect. So down here, you'll see that it's, you can't really see it, but it says release effects. So, and it's highlighted in white text, which means you have to press the shift button to activate that. But in today's video, we're not covering so much the effects on the mixing section of the DDJ 1000, but the pad effects. So the pad effects are denoted by the second button above the pad effect, pad effects button. So you have the hot cue button, and then you have the pad effects. If you hit the pad effects button, you will see that the colors of the pads turn to blue and turquoise and green. And that corresponds to certain effects that are also the same colors on your record box software. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But you have two sections to the pad effects. You have pad effects one, and then if you hit the shift button, you'll go to pad effects two. And now you'll watch the colors change a bit. So shift, and then bam. So the pad effects have changed color, and these are slip and reverse roll, or slip loop and reverse roll effects. So if you press these buttons, you'll see what these sound like. And these are all the slip loops. These vary from 1 16th note, to 1 8th note, to a quarter note, and then to a half note. Now, pad effects one, these all correspond to different effects as well, and it's denoted by color code. So the first three are roll, sweep, and flanger. So here's the roll. And you have to press it and hold it in order to activate it. Here is the sweep. This is good for in the middle of a mix, or when you're not mixing, but in the middle of a track. And this is the flanger. Again, this is good for the middle of a song. So if you have a long song that you want to add some spice and some flair to in the middle of your set, you can activate this effect. And then the fourth effect, denoted in blue, is actually one of the reverse effects. And this is the vinyl break. So you have to hold it and then, and then release it and then the track will play again. And then the second row is an echo quarter note. And then an echo half note. And I have these settings fairly low so you can hear that as well, but I will turn up the settings a bit. To 50% and you'll be able to hear these a bit better. So here's echo. And then you have re the reverb. And then the last one is again, another reverse effect, and that is the echo. 
So that's a great transition button. So I really like this last button because you can transition between songs. Now I have this on hold mode, but you can also set this to toggle mode. So if I release this, the track will play again. But if I switch this to toggle mode, when I press the button, the, the pad will highlight to note that it's active. So watch this. So the pad is highlighted, so you just toggle it and then you just, you just press it briefly and then the pad is activated. Now this is a great way to transition to the next song without having to worry about the track accidentally playing again. But if you press the button one more time, the track will indeed play again. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of these pad effects, I will show you what this looks like in the software and then some special tips on editing some of the features within the Rekordbox software. Okay, so this is Rekordbox DJ. This is what the interface looks like. So when you go to your track, a lot of times it'll be on the main screen, which the main screen is generally the hockey screen. You press the pad effects, which you can access this by also pressing the pad effect button on your DJ 1000 hardware controller. You will be able to see the various effects within the pad effects section. If you press this settings button, you could then adjust these settings. So the reverse effects, the vinyl break and the echo effect, you can actually adjust this off and on, which that'll adjust from toggle or hold mode. So when it's off, it means hold. It means you have to actually physically hold down that button for that effect to activate. If you leave it on toggle mode, that means you can just press it once. That's when that button will highlight and then the effect will execute and then the track will stop. And so it's a great way. Toggle mode is a great way to reduce the amount of time you have to press buttons, the amount of clicks you have to press. And by having it on toggle mode, you can press that button once. Let's say it's on this, re this uh, reverse echo effect, then you can transition in that song. So it's actually a beautiful thing. But a lot of times you'll just leave it off. That way you can, you can just hold the effect. Maybe if you're wanting to activate that effect in the middle of the mix, the middle of the transition, or even in the middle of the track. Okay, so same thing on pad effects two, which again, you activate pad effects two by pressing shift and then the pad effects button. That'll give you the second section of the pad effects. Again, you have these slip loops and the reverse rolls and you can adjust these parameters as well. The reverse effect section is right here. So you have the vinyl, break, echo, and backspin. I like to leave it on echo because that is a common effect but you could also leave it on backspin. I don't use vinyl break so much. If I was going to use vinyl break, I am generally using that. Now I would leave this on. I would generally use this if I am trying to stop a track really quick and I then want to make an announcement. Maybe I'm doing a private event. It's a great way to stop the music relatively quickly and then make an announcement. But in general, this is the reverse effect section, and I leave it on echo. And that way, on your DJ 1000, you can press shift and the reverse effects button, and that'll activate that effect. So you can use this in conjunction with another effect. You can activate a reverb, a Mobius saw, an Enigma Gent effect, which is a beat effect, and then you can apply a reverse effect on top of that. So again, remember there's three effects. You have the sound color effects, you have the beat effects, and then you have these reverse effects. Okay, so there you have it. That's my tutorial on the pad effects on the DJJ 1000. If you found this helpful, please let me know that in the comments below. If you think I'm forgetting something, please also leave that in the comments below. If you like this content, like to see more, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.